My Weird School Special Book Number 7 Bummer in the Summer Written by Dan Gutman Pictures by Jim Pillot Chapter 5 Two Words That Should Never Be in the Same Sentence I thought that was the end of it. Seeing the ghost of Mr. Klutz had to be just a once-in-a-lifetime bad dream. Nothing like that could ever happen again. But then something else weird happened. The clock struck eleven, and I thought I should really get myself a clock. Just as I was falling back asleep, I heard another spooky voice. AJ, AJ, AJ. When I opened my eyes, I saw that there were two ghosts floating over my bed. Ah! I screamed. The ghosts put their fingers up to their lips. Shh! They whispered. Help! I shouted. Security! There's somebody in my room! Shh! What are you doing in my bedroom? I asked. How did you get in here? Isn't this breaking and entering? The words read like crazy were on the ghosts' shirts, and the ghosts were each carrying a big cardboard box. I looked at the ghosts more closely. They looked a lot like Mr. Mackey, our reading specialist, and Mrs. Rupee, our librarian. Mrs. Rupee? I called out. Mr. Mackey? Never heard of those people, said the ghost that looked like Mrs. Rupee. We are the ghosts of summer reading. What? Summer and reading are two words that should never be in the same sentence. That's the first rule of being a kid. I never heard of the ghosts of summer reading, I said. It's a thing, said Mr. Mackey. You two look just like Mr. Mackey and Mrs. Rupee from my school. We get that all the time, said the ghost of Mr. Mackey. We brought you some presents, AJ, said the ghost of Mrs. Rupee. Presents? I like getting presents. Maybe these weren't bad ghosts. I wondered what was in the boxes they were carrying. The ghosts floated down and put them on the edge of my bed. Is there a new video game system in there? I asked excitedly. Is it a new skateboard? No, said Mr. Mackey. We brought you some... books... What? Books? I hate books. I don't even know why you're reading this one. Books are boring. Reading is boring. I don't like to read, I told the two ghosts. They let out eerie, cackling laughs as they opened the boxes. That's too bad, said Mr. Mackey, pulling out a thick book and handing it to me. Because this summer, your assignment will be to read the complete works of William Shakespeare. No, I shouted, covering my ears. Not Shakespeare. He's the most boring of all. Mrs. Rupee pulled a fat book out of her box. This is the first book of a 20-book encyclopedia, she told me. You'll have to read all 20 books. No, I screamed at her. Not an encyclopedia. There was nothing I could do. They were already pulling more books out of their boxes. Fiction, non-fiction, chapter books, non-chapter books, picture books, non-picture books. It was horrible. I wanted to run away to Antarctica and live with the penguins. And after that, just for fun, said Mr. Mackey, we're going to have you read a complete collection of all the books that have won the Newbery Medal. No, not the Newbery books, I screamed. Anything but them, I'll be bored to death. Oh, and by the way, said Mr. Mackey, there will be a test on all these books on the first day of school in September. No, 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 I shouted. I hate reading and I hate tests. Get out of my bedroom. Have a good summer. Reading, said Mrs. Rupee. The two of them broke into another eerie, cackling laugh as they flew through the window. I could hear them chanting, I before E except after C, or when sounding like A as in neighbor and way.
I before E except after C. I lay my head back on the pillow. It was another terrible dream. No, not a dream. It was a nightmare. This was the worst thing to happen since National Poetry Month. When would I wake up from this awful night? I couldn't wait for morning to come. Somehow I managed to fall back asleep, but I was tossing and turning the whole time. Chapter 6 Bad News and Worse News AJ, AJ, AJ. Oh no, not again? I had been sleeping peacefully when I heard more voices above my bed. I opened my eyes. This time, there were three ghosts floating over me. Ah! It was Miss Daisy, Mr. Granite, and Mr. Cooper, all three teachers I've had at elementary school. I had never seen them together. Hello, AJ, said the ghost of Mr. Granite. Long time no see. Mr. Granite, I said. I thought you went back to your home planet. I did, he replied. But I came back here because we have some important news for you. What is it? There's bad news and worse news, said the ghost of Miss Daisy. Which do you want to hear first? This has been a horrible night so far, I told them. Give me the bad news first. You're going to have to repeat third grade, said the ghost of Mr. Cooper. What? I have to do third grade all over again? That's right, the ghost of Mr. Cooper told me. Why? What did I do? Let me see, said the ghost of Mr. Cooper. You talk in class. You shout things out without raising your hand. You don't turn in your homework. You come to school late. Hmm, I couldn't argue with that. You're absent too many days, continued the ghost of Mr. Granite. You go to the bathroom just to get out of class. You put a worm in Emily's sneaker during recess. You wrote, kick me, on a piece of paper and taped it to Andrea's back. You told Emily she had six toes on each foot. You started a war by shooting rubber bands at the girls' Barbie dolls. You hypnotized Andrea and told her that her feet smell like rotten cabbage. Should we continue? said the ghosts of Mr. Cooper and Mr. Granite. But I don't want to go through third grade all over again. Are you ready for the worst news? asked the ghost of Miss Daisy. No, I groaned. Before you go through third grade all over again, she said, you have to go through second grade all over again, and first grade too. You're going to have to start school all over again from the beginning. What? I shouted. No, that's not fair. Sorry, said the ghost of Mr. Granite. And, oh, by the way, from now on, school is going to be all year round. No more summer vacation. What? Yes, the Board of Education changed the schedule, said the ghost of Mr. Cooper. They found that during summer vacation, kids forget much of what they learn during the school year. So the Board of Ed decided to get rid of summer vacation entirely.